I had had a huge spiritual awakening when reading PB's book, A Search in Secret Egypt, an experience of my true being. That was long before I met him. Later, PB told me, well, yes, that the purpose of his books is to initiate people into what he would call a glimpse. You have a glimpse and then you know what the goal is. You have a way to orient yourself for the rest of your life. It's available to everybody. A high point for me occurred when PB invited me for tea in a restaurant. We talked about trivia, politics, etc. And in the course of it, I felt a kind of uncontrollable magnetic pull to look up into his eyes. I was brought up to think this is rude but I couldn't help myself. I just had to look up at him. When I looked at his eyes, I felt like one does when you look at the sun and the retina is traumatized. It was like an electric shock went through me. And then I had to look away and pretend that nothing was wrong. I thought there was something wrong with me. I was going crazy. So we continued our conversation and I looked at the flowers, the tea, and then I would be drawn back to look at him. And when I would look at his eyes, again I would have this experience of shock. It went on six or seven times. After this, I was definitely not the same. I think this is what is called transmission. This is transmission squared. It was another way of him sharing his information. When I first walked in, he was so light, the whole place was so light. He didn't radiate light, he was light. We were told we'd be having PB at our house. I remember being beside myself with getting it right, and the house had to be immaculate. Oh my God, it was pretty tense. We'd heard how meticulous he was. I'll never forget when he first came in and I was thinking, I think I've got this, I've gone crazy with the house. And he walked in and bowed and looked around and then walked right over to the can opener that I had on the wall and he kept looking at it. And then he ran his finger along it. He'd found a little bit of matter on it Ha! There's no perfection in this world. I missed that little thing. It was hysterical, but not at the time, of course. It was a great quiet, sitting on the chaise lounge in the garden with PB. Anthony used to refer to this process. PB could size you up like a photograph, your whole evolutionary development up to this point and then dismiss it for the illusory self it is, and then go into a very deep connection of soul to soul. B.B. writes, that's the sage's blessing, but I wasn't conscious of it. I did feel the peace around him. Yeah, he glowed. Before I visited P.B. in his apartment in Switzerland, I'd bought a new car in Europe. As I was driving there, I thought, oh boy, wait till PB sees this car. Those type of thoughts. His very first words after we came to his house and were put at ease were, let's go for a ride. And I'd never mentioned the car at all. After I got back, Anthony said, you let him ride in your car? Your car will break down. He has a big electrical field around him. And indeed, I had nothing but electrical problems with that car. PB walked out of the restaurant and there was bright sunlight on his face and he just stood there. I had been feeling so agitated. For about one or two minutes he didn't move. He didn't look at us and he just stood there and this incredible, I just start to cry when I think about this. 
incredible peace and joy descended on me like, like a glimpse. And I was just kind of blown away. And I was so grateful because I had felt before this trip, I had been so agitated, but my ego was disarmed. I had this wonderful moment of opening and connection. It was an unforgettable moment. For the rest of the day, I felt very lit up and very peaceful. Something powerful had really happened to me. It was a very powerful gift. When he said grace, he called upon the world mind. And I had the distinct feeling that the world mind was right there. By his doing the grace, something beyond the ordinary was invoked, something way beyond. Another whole dimension seemed to open up around him, around us. Thank you.